everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am gonna teach you guys how to get this really, really lightweight summer glowy vibes makeup tutorial. Like, I am glowing. <laughs> it is so, so easy to do. My skin feels so lightweight. I haven't got a lot of makeup on my skin. I'm wearing a powder foundation. Like, it's just all good vibes. I feel like the sort of summer makeup shows I've done before. I know this is a glam one. I wouldn't wear this going to the beach or anything like that. But obviously for more like summer beach parties or if you just want to feel more glam or whatever, this is the tutorial for you guys. My skin is a lot breathable. I used to wear like full coverage foundations and stuff in the summer. Uh, I've learnt my lesson over the years and every single summer I use this is a uh. What? I use this exact foundation and it's just saves your life in the summer. Your skin can breathe and you just feel like, ah. Oh. But you look in the mirror and you're like, well, I still look like I've got like a proper full face of makeup on. I mean, you do have a full face, but it's not as thick and it's not as cakey in a way. You know what I mean? So yeah, if you want to know how to get this makeup tutorial, all of this glow even on my body, all of that kind of stuff, then please keep watching. So I just done my brows. I always, always do it off camera because it takes me forever. As you can see today, I've had the worst brow day ever. Like, what is going on with them? I swear to God, I've spent so long just trying to sort them out and then it's like, no, this is just not working out for me. I've like given up on it now. So if you watched my last video, I filmed um, a bright blue makeup look. It was that metallic -y. And I told you guys at the beginning because I didn't like show you my skincare routine. Skincare routine? No. My foundation routine. That's it. And um, a lot of you guys were commenting on that video saying please can you show us how you've done your foundation because it was so natural and it literally, I'm going to zoom in a bit. That's better. Um, and it wasn't cakey at all. So I thought I would incorporate it into this video because I wanted to film like a really lightweight summer glow makeup. A lot of my other summer glow makeups have been quite full coverage and I've realised over the years since like as you get older less makeup is actually more especially on your skin do whatever with your eyes but on your skin you need it to breathe especially in the summer and it's taken me a while to realise that <laughs> um, but normally every summer I do use the same foundation which is from Bare Minerals it is literally just their Bare Minerals original foundation powder so yeah also if you guys are wondering what I use on my brows I use the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in Dark Brown um, and it takes me about <laughs> two hours to do my eyebrows like can you not but I'm over it I'm like literally over it now I'm gonna start off with is some moisturizer this is just from just from just from Olay you need to make sure you have like a good base to work with especially if you want to go like quite lightweight with your foundation um I mainly use foundation to cover up the redness I hate my redness but everyone has their imperfection. Um, I also done a video on my skincare routine. So if you want to know like all the products and stuff that I use um, and everything step to step, step to step, step to step, then I'll leave it for you guys down below. I do use um, a skin spa, which is like an exfoliating brush and it spins. Best thing I've ever used. I've used it for about two years now, every day, and I don't have any spots. Um, I also drink a lot of water and that honestly helps so much. So watch that video and you guys can see all my like tips and stuff that I do. Yeah. So seeing as I'm gonna use a really, really lightweight powder foundation, I'm gonna go straight in with concealer at this point. I use the Maybelline Fit Me. It's a bit of the word empty. Look, can you see the box? The box, the pot. <gasps> No, it's got all empty here. So I need to go into town and get a new one. But I literally just pop it under my eye. I have really bad bags, so I like to use quite a lot of concealer. Just focus it under here and then go in on the redness on my nose. Like there. I look really cool, don't I? I then use a damp beauty blender just to sort of blend this in. Go from the outside and then in, because you're going to focus most of the product inside. And it will like stay there. I do put it over my nose. So when your concealer is all done, I'm literally going to set my concealer with the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder in Transparent. So once that is all done, what I'm going to do is move on to the foundation. This is sort of the main part of the video because I want my skin to feel really, really lightweight. Um, it is from Bare Minerals and it is medium beige. That is the shade that I use. I normally buy these in a gift set whenever I go to the airport um, because you obviously get more in the set. But 
you can obviously buy it on its own if you want to. So all I do is use this Iconic London brush. It is a really, really good sort of buffing brush. Um, and then what I do is just empty some foundation onto the lid. You sort of want to cover your brush, sort of dub it on your face, and then just go in circular motion on your whole face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can see how insane the coverage is, but it's not cakey. Like you can still see my mold, which I like because it doesn't look too fake in a way. Um, and it's also really, really buildable. So if you want more of like a medium coverage, all you have to do is put it on your face and go in circular motions and add more. But it's so weird because it just feels like if you're used to wearing a lot of foundation that I was, when you wear this, it honestly, your skin feels so breathable and it's like when you even smile and stuff, it doesn't feel as cakey and as heavy. I didn't notice the difference. Like, I think when I wore foundation, I just thought, oh, it's foundation. But then when I, like, I've been wearing this on its own, honestly, my skin feels so, like, breathable and just so soft and just so natural. Like, it's not too heavy on your skin. I love it. It honestly is insane. I would recommend this to anyone. This is probably one of my favourite foundations ever. Um, powder. It's probably my favourite powder foundation ever but yeah honestly insane like I love it <laughs> moving on to bronzer I'm gonna use my trusty NYX contour kit I think I need to get a new one guys like look what is going on <laughs> I need to get a new one badly um so I'm just gonna mix all the bottom shades together and just start contouring my face <laughs> So what I'm going to do now is move on to my eyes. For that I'm going to use the Iconic London palette. I think that's what it's called. It's the only palette they have basically, I think. Um, it looks like this. It is literally insane. This literally electro screams like glow, summer, all that kind of stuff. By the way, my face looks weird at the moment. Don't worry, it'll blend in everything. At the end, I need to add, add? I need to add. I need to add highlighter and blusher and I need to blend in my bronzer and stuff but just chill. So to start off I'm going to use the shade in the nude which is the top left one and I'm basically just going to go over my lid just to set everything in place. I'm then going to go in with the shade ultimate tan which is this colour, I don't know if you can see it, there we go, this colour here and I'm just going to use this as a transition just to blend it in. And then I'm going to use that same colour on my lower lash line. I get some eyeshadow in my eye. Oh my god. Oh. This is a shade top to top, or is it tape to tape? I'd say top, but I mean, each to their own. And I'm going to use that colour and just follow that in my crease and blend it in or out with my transition. Quite easy. Just to deepen your crease up a bit. I'm then going to use the shade Deep Soul, which is the darkest one in there, this colour here. I'm going to use it really lightly, sort of go over my crease like this, like an arch, but really lightly. Can you hear those birds? I'm filming. Quiet, please. But you're going to, yeah, literally just use it as light as possible. You can see it just creates a little bit more like definition in your eye. And then use the ultimate tan colour just to blend it all out. But use a little bit of the same colour on your lower lash line, but go as close as possible. Now what we're going to do is just wet a brush, preferably a fat, a fat, a flat one. And then I'm going to mix the shades Bronze Bay and VIP Vibes together. You could use, actually I'm going to use setting spray. I'm going to use some setting spray on my brush. And then with this colour, you're literally just going to go all over your lid. But sort of dot it as you get nearer to your crease. You want it to blend, so you're going to blend it in a minute. Just go back in with your transition colour and just sort of blend the shimmer in with the matte. I'm then going to use the shade Champagne Chic, which is this one here. And then I'm going to use that in my tear duct and my brow bone. I've got a little bit of fallout on my eyes, so I'll clean that up in a minute. 
that's it for the eyes. I really, really like it. Not too like in your face. It's quite subtle, but it's really, really pretty. Um, I'm now going to do this off camera because I can't do it on camera. I mean, I try to, but it just doesn't work out well. Like, it just doesn't. Um, so I'm going to line my lash line with eyeliner. Literally just line it. And then I'm going to use some falsies. These are from Doll Lash. I can't remember the style of them. But it's, it's like, I think it's Love Lace. That's the style of it. Love Lace. So I'm using that style on my eyes. I'll be back when my eyes are done. So, as you can see, I've done my eyes. They literally, I'll go up close so you guys can see what they look like, if it's gonna focus. So this is basically what my eyes look like. Um, so moving on to blush, I'm gonna use this one from Anastasia. It's in the shade Peachy Love. It is the brush, the brush, the blush trio. It looks like this, it's so, so cute. Um, because I've gone for sort of these sort of tones in my eyes, I thought this would be perfect. Um, so I'm literally just gonna mix all of them together, mainly focusing on this one. Tap off the excess because it's so pigmented. And then smile, and then you sort of want to blend it in with your contour. I'm gonna move on to possibly one of my favorite parts in the tutorial. I'm gonna use the Iconic London Illuminator Drops in the shade Original. I honestly, my absolute phase, and then the stick is basically like this. I literally apply like a dot on my hand like that. And then at the moment I've been using this brush from BH. It's in, it's their new marble collection, but it's in the shade, the shade, in the style four. Um, and then all I do is get the product, sort of mix it on my hand like this. And then you want to really lightly build it up on your cheekbone. Using a brush like this is perfect because it really, really helps sort of apply directly on where you want it. And it's really easy to blend out. You can see how insane the glow is. But then what I am going to do after that is use the Anastasia um, and Breezy Highlighter Palette. And it's just a highlighter. Go over the top. This is more of like a bronzy golden highlighter. And then just tap that over the top. Like, it's insane. The glow is real, guys. Like, come on. It's just insane. And then I put on my nose and then my cupid's bow. So I've been using these three products. Of course, Rimmel Cappuccino Lip Liner is a must on sort of a glowy everyday makeup look. And then I picked this up from L'Oreal. It is their Infallible 24 Hour Lipstick. It's got two ends, as you can see. I don't know if that's gonna be a focus. There you go. So this ends the actual lipstick. And then this end here is where you sort of set it in place. And it really makes the lipstick stay there. Um, and then I'm gonna use the lingerie lipstick, which I'm not gonna lie, look how run out it is. Like, can we just take a moment? I need to throw this in the bin soon, like, it's dead basically. Um, I literally put a tiny bit on that, um, on that, tiny bit in the middle of my lip. That's what I do. Shooby dooby doo. So I've, moved, I've zoomed you guys out a lot. This is like the finished look on the makeup. I am wearing a top by the way guys, you just can't really see it. <laughs> I want to sort of make the rest of my body glowy. Now I don't use fake tan every day because it's a lot of effort for me. Like I literally like CBA for that life. Whoever does it like, well done to you. I just, it, it frustrates me. But the product I use instead, and this isn't sponsored, I genuinely love it. Is this one from Iconic London. Look, I literally use it all the time. Look how pretty it looks. Um, it is a prep setting glow spray. I use the shade glow, I think. So I use this all over my body. Honestly, I'll put my light on after. In the sunlight, you shimmer. Like, it's crazy. So just pop it on my arm. Even on your face, like, oh, it smells so good. It has that like, cucumber and all of that kind of stuff in it. I forgot what's in it, but it's just insane. Blend it in using your hands. By the way, if you're wondering what this is on my shoulder, I burnt myself <laughs> with a curler, so it's a burn, guys. Like, I had a few comments on my last video, like, what's, what's on your shoulder? Um, yeah, it's a burn. Burnt myself, didn't I? Another trick that I do if I want to feel like extra glowy, I'll go back in with my highlighter and just 
go over sort of my collarbone and it really like highlights them can you see and then when the sun catches it it's like oh oh hello collarbones <laughs> like my shoulders and collarbones and then just get like a bigger buffing brush just to buff it out after it'll blend in really nicely so everyone i've literally taken my hair down from my bun and i was like oh i kind of like it because it feels like i'm going to like a beach party or something so that's literally what i've done um if you've enjoyed this tutorial then please give it a thumbs up I'm going to look already. I'm good. <laughs> Give it a thumbs up and also subscribe if you're new to my channel. Please write in the um, comments down below any videos you guys want me to film. I listened to you guys last time and um, I you wanted to see how I done my foundation stuff. So I filmed it in this video. But yeah, definitely write down in the comments because I will 100% film it for you guys. So yeah, thank you so, so much for watching and I will see you good. Oh, I don't even know what I was going to say then. Gooties. I think I was going to say guys and beauties. I will see you beauties in my next video.